All right, here's the power amplifier out of the IC230. And uh, it looks like it's a self-contained unit. Um, I've been uh, busy looking at the schematic. I'll show that in a little bit here, but I've figured out where everything is. So this is the uh, input. So I put an SMA connector on the input and the output is over here. This got uh, connected directly to a, uh, a connector on the back of the radio. So I have a little connector on that. And um, then inside the radio, this is the uh, pre-driver and this is the uh, final amplifier. And it uses a 2SC1177, which I believe is a 10 watt um, transistor. And then it has a little uh, SWR bridge over here. And it also has a wire coming out here for uh, output power. It's a, it's a tap. Uh, there's a diode uh, um, peak detector on the final amplifier. So you can put that on the meter and look, look to see that it's working. And then when, when the meter's not in transmit mode, it's a receive mode, it uses the SWR bridge here. And then there's one signal for receive and one signal for uh, transmit, and those are diode switching inside this thing. So I have it hot wired to do transmit all the time. And uh, then I just have five, uh, 12 volts, you know, 13.8 volts, and, um, and put in a signal. So let's take a look at the schematic. So this is the connector coming in. It goes through the uh, pre-driver and then the uh, uh, driver and, and final amplifier. And uh, then uh, 12 volt comes in here to bias this stuff. Once it gets done uh, amplifying it, it comes through this diode here. And you need to turn on that diode to get it out to the output world. So there's a, a transmit pin here that you need to pull up to 12 volts. And that turns on this diode, it DC biases this diode. There's one over here for receive. So if you want to have, this is the antenna. And if you want to have the receive path code to the receiver, it goes this way. You need to turn on this diode over here. And if you want to transmit, which is, which is this direction, you need to turn on this diode. And then uh, it's got a, a filter here, a low pass filter to take out the harmonics. And then this is the little SWR bridge here. So yeah, it's all set to go. And um, it is all uh, isolated. The driver has a, there's a metal plate here that isolates and a metal plate here. So this is a compartment, compartment. This is a little compartment over here. There's a compartment here and a compartment here. So it's, it's all nice and shielded before it goes to the, to the outside world. So uh, all we need to do is hook it up to a power supply and transmit into it. Now, I'm assuming the gain of this stage is pretty low and I might need to have a little bit more power coming into this thing than I, than I normally have available, but um, I should be able to find something to do that with. All right, in order to drive this amplifier, I'm gonna to need to have uh, about a watt, I think, coming into it. Um, and so I've uh, programmed the uh, uh, radio here for, for low power. I wanna to check to see what low power means. So we're gonna key down, and it's 1.4 watts. All right, so we know this radio is outputting 1.4 watts, and we're going to use it as the drive input to the uh, to the amplifier, and we'll see uh, see what happens. Uh, this thing was not able to drive the amplifier. This thing can go up to about plus 12 dBm, which is you know really really tiny, and it's just not enough to drive that um, drive the input of this amplifier. So let's uh, let's bring the amplifier into the picture. And we will connect it up. And it's a balancing act here. All right, so we have, uh, we have the amplifier down here now, and it's going into the, uh, into the test set. And then we'll connect the uh, radio up to the input of the amplifier. And see what we get. All right, so let me uh, come back up here so we can watch. There we go, 9.3 watts. 9.3 watts, 9.2 watts. Getting a little warm, I guess. 9.2 watts, yeah, it's probably getting warm. 
Um, 9.5 watts, so oh, there you go. Let it cool down a bit and then it comes back down again. And then uh, we can check this over here. You can barely see that, but we can watch the current draw. Current goes up to about five amps. Uh, for the uh, for the amplifier here, so I say success. Let's uh, let's see here. Let's turn up the turn up the volume. Yeah, it's transmitting just fine, and we can do a uh, maybe we can look at it on a spectrum analyzer. <laughs> see if we see anything here. There's a carrier, and uh, let's do a. Yeah, it's modulating just fine. So I'd say, ship it. <laughs> um, yeah, seems like it uh, seems like the amplifier works just fine. So we we'll, maybe we can use this for some other purpose. <laughs>